So I need to upload some content in the hopes that I can turn this shit into, turn this hobby into a living wage that I could do because my current job where I work, which is at a convenience store gas station, quite literally makes me want to fucking eat the business end of a shotgun. Uh, I'm not going to get into that, but it, it, it's pretty fucking bad. Um, but one thing I did discover <laughs> this game <laughs> is there is tuning. There's weapon tuning, which I thought was pretty cool. So basically to do this, you go to um, here, and you go to Gunsmith. And then right here, there's this little tune option. So there's various uh, pieces here that you can tune. Um, so we're going to do with this barrel. So as you see, there's two sliders on the left. You, you move the um, left analog stick up and down. If you want recoil steadiness, you can go all the way to the top. Which means it's going to be, um, and of course, there's this menu here. So you have mobility, aim, walking s speed, recoil, steadiness, aim down sight speed. You have damage range, which uh, is used by moving your analog stick on the left, left, or right. So that can, you can increase the damage range, but you'll probably have more recoil, I think. Uh, but as you see, this thing changes. So the, uh, this one's geared more towards like better handling. So that's how you can customize different guns. Of course, you have to get them to level 20, which is a pain in the ass. Uh, but here with the weapons. So this, again, is set up more towards accuracy and recoil steadiness because this 7.62 here is, is like a bucking bronco in the recoil. It's terrible with a capital T. Uh, so we're gonna do something different. We're gonna get rid of that shit, and we're gonna go with like a 50 round uh, drum magazine. Uh, what kind of do we have any cool camo? Uh, get to wait kills with Lockman. Uh, let's go with this nasty ass. Looks like we dipped our gun in mustard. Okay, so we're gonna put this into practice. Uh, by the way, <laughs> terrible at this game. Uh, the gameplay footage you are about to see is. <laughs> probably gonna suck ass but um yeah that's, that's one thing you'll get uh, about my gameplay footage here uh if i decide to upload it's authentic i, I don't play 20 different games and upload the, like the, the best one of course we're past prestige one which really isn't a thing don't never get intimidated by people's rank if it says level 460 that doesn't necessarily mean they're good players that just means they've spent an ass ton of physical time in real life in on the game and uh yeah most of people just play this game and of course it's double exp event um so th that's pretty much how they level up quick and they play uh certain game game modes like domination there's a few other uh, game modes that you can play that just you can stack exp like a shitload and level up quick and level up guns pretty quick of course the whole time i was talking and I didn't have it finding a match. So we're going to do some team deathmatch. Team camp match. Alright, uh, which one were we going to do? We were going to use... What class was that? Was that... Okay. Lockman 762. Okay, that's one LMG. Let me check that just to be sure. <laughs> okay, yeah, then it's mustard. <laughs> mustard rifle. Oh, God, this map, Tarak, is just god-awful. It's a like sniper's paradise. Snipers and diapers. Alrighty. Here we go! Two, two, one, what the? Manic Republic of Adol. Whee! If they did that in real life without proper gloves, you'd burn the shit out of your hands. That person's got a gold crossbow. Are you. Oof. Nerd. Uh, so basically, I. Um, Alright, can we not run? Oh, of course, I forgot it's left hands. Uh, 
semi-auto instead of fully auto. So when I, I, it, it is cool they have a fire selector switch, but it, it doesn't really make sense, really, when you think about it, because. Because it's most aim down sight speed and how many rounds you can get on target. Oh, I'll take it. Oh, and he's gonna slide into home and destroy. Destroy me. Destroy me. <laughs> oh, got someone in there? Surprise. Oh. Person's in... Okay. Workout suit. That's cool, I guess. Let's see if we can't get a UAV. We're gonna be a camping bastard. We're gonna cook up some s'mores. Oh boy. Oh shit. Woo! <laughs> Got lucky with that sniper. That's what happened there. I don't camp up. Cook up some s'mores. Do some camping. Camping is a legitimate strategy. Don't let anyone tell you different. Just because you're not running around the map doesn't mean you. Ooh. Take it. I should be dead. I'm kind of surprised right now. Maybe if you weren't running around in your damn tracksuit. Oof, 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 oof. Stop shooting me. Get away from me. This is tracksuit. I'm flattered, but damn. Leave me alone, bitch. Sometimes uh, success to, <laughs> to having success in this game is just being a dirty camping dickhead. And if it's one thing life has taught me recently is that sometimes you gotta be a dirty bastard to get ahead in life. It may not be proper, you not be honorable, but you gotta you, you you gotta you know do you to get ahead. And sometimes that means. Oh shit! Is that a double? A double, but a double bubble. So, as you can see, the lockman uh, uh, we have set uh, recoil uh, or tuning has kind of worked a little bit, I think. Um, giving us a little bit more recoil stability. So much so, we're almost out of ammo. Oh my god, my accuracy is shit. But we have stolen, we're on a merciless, and we've stolen this dude's shiny golden gun. We're in the cool kids club now. I'm actually surprised how well this is going. Um, usually, recently, I've been having my ass like beat like an Apache war drum while playing this game. Oof. Beetles cutting them up. Cutting them up.
Oh, uh, here's here's a way you can get up to second floor. <laughs> I figured that out. Oh yeah. Come here, 308. Let's see, see if we can. <gasps> Ooh. So, um, uh, full disclosure, I usually don't do this good. I don't know what the fuck's going on. Um. Usually I do pretty terrible. Oh, <gasps> what? Uh, oh, I'll take it. Step out. Oh, that guy got caught scrounged. Uh... Oh, oh, oh. Killed by an AK. Well, you know what? That's fair. That's fair. I, I ain't even mad. Uh, boop, 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 boop. Try to use this. <laughs> Golly, they were waiting for me. Not scouched. <laughs> so, uh, if you've watched this far into this video for 12 minutes, that's awesome. Thank you. I need the watch time. Uh, but in all reality, I don't really give a shit about metrics. This is just me having fun and, and uh, really more of a just mental health thing for me to do. It's like I mentioned, I, I work at this very terrible job where, um, there's just, you shithead. Yeah, there's a guy who's, who's gotten two raises uh, at work because he's a, a shithead and he intimidates the um, manager. So, um, yeah. I won't get any more into it because, you know, Oof. So I'm going with this 7.62 because its stopping power is redonkulous. Um, I, I tend to favor weapons that are clunky and have a heavier um, round. Ooh, doesn't always work, but usually if you get the drop on someone with a larger caliber weapon, you win gunfights sometimes but but the dark secret about Call of Duty games is it's mostly based on internet speed so um, keep that in mind that's our century uh oh Victory, sweet. And for uh, just YouTube expediency, I will. Uh, let's see, we got 16 kills. Let's see how many deaths. Let's see how many deaths we got. Uh, six deaths, so a 2.67 KD. I will take it. And, yes, and uh, another thing you have to remember about Call of Duty is sometimes you have good games, sometimes you have great games, and then sometimes you just get f fucking schmaltzed. Uh, but other than that, hopefully you enjoyed this video. And, yeah, weapon, to weapon tuning does happen at level 20, and it is something to, to look into if you're going to be playing um, Call of Duty for quite some time. Uh, you and so let me just go over that real quick before I close this video. So you go to weapons, yeah, you find your weapon that's like level 20, 
and you go to gunsmith and uh, anything that has this tune thing at the top you just move your left analog stick up tune and you can move shit around aim down sight speed flinch resistance which if you get hit you know your your sight doesn't jumble all over the place so it's just an interesting thing to check out and to you know um, fine tune your guns depending on what you're using the guns for what uh, objectives what kind of game modes but other than that it is definitely something to look into um and yeah check it out uh tuning it's a very important feature that you should check out you can turn a gun like this into something kind of imaginable will you have as good a success as i did in that game uh, probably not so so tune your enthusiasm it's not going to turn you into an mv like MLG player, but it will help you play a little bit better because you, uh, if you have a favorite gun, it can help make that gun a little bit better. Uh, so anyways, leave a like, leave a dislike, comment below, subscribe if you haven't already, and check out the links in the description or the links in the card. And there should be some other shit on screen, uh, other videos if you want to check out. You so can. If not, that's cool too. Understand. I understand. And anyways, I'll see you next time.